Thank you for watching the City of Red Wings Pride in Public Service, hosted by Alicia Grave, with special guest, Deputy Clerk Lisa Acker. Hi, I'm Alicia Grave, Communication Intern with the City of Red Wing, and today in our Pride in Public Service, I'm with Lisa Acker, our Deputy Clerk. How are you today? Good. How are you, Alicia? Good. And can you tell us about your position at City Hall? Um, I am the deputy clerk, which means I work in the city clerk's office with Kathy Johnson. Um, I started in this position in October of 2011. Um, the position was created when there was a shift in deputy clerk staffing Lisa levels Acker. and to provide for some succession planning down the road. Um, I work at the second floor of City Hall uh, doing such things as liquor licenses, um, elections. I deal with the cemeteries. Um, the perpetual flowers, any code issues or code questions, city code questions, um, our recording of documents, basically the all the information, storage or gathering, record keeping part of city government. Wow. And how long have you been working for the city? <laughs> um, I've actually been with the city since January of 2006. I started in the solid waste department out at the incinerator, um, providing clerical support for both the incinerator and the refuse and recycling department. And then I also did meeting minutes for the boards and commissions. So I was there until I came down here in October of 2011. What's the most challenging aspect of your job? Um, I would say that the most challenging and probably rewarding at the same time is dealing with the public. Um, in, the, in our office, you have moments where you get to be the person that makes someone's day, whether it's um, someone where I get an email looking for a long-lost relative. They're doing a genealogy search, and they're trying to locate, it could be a great-grandparent or an aunt, uncle, someone that they've lost touch with, and being able to provide that information to them is very rewarding. Um, sometimes it can also be challenging when you can't find the information that, that someone needs or someone has a question that... It requires both time and a lot of research to try and answer. Uh, in city government, you're both the, the person with the answers and the person with the answers that not everybody wants. So I think that that makes it both challenging and rewarding mm -hmm. for me. There you go. What projects are you currently working on? Uh, currently, we are working on liquor license renewals. They are due July 1. They run calendar July 1 of each year till June 30th of the previous year. So we are currently renewing all of the um, liquor licenses here in town. That's both your 3-2, it's your on sale, it's your off sale. Um, pretty much anywhere where liquor can be purchased in, within city limits is up for renewal. And we are also working on our special mayoral election, which will take place on June 11th. All right, and what can citizens do to participate in the elections? Well, obviously, anyone that wishes to vote um, can do so on Election Day at their polling location. The city has eight polling locations. We, are, um, we have four wards with two precincts in each ward. Um, polling places are open on Election Day from 7 in the morning till 8 at night. And anyone who's not going to be available to vote on Election Day can vote absentee, and you can do that here at City Hall during regular business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. And then we will also be available for absentee voting the Saturday for the election, which is June 8th, from 10 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. And the Monday before the election, which is the 10th, we are open until 5. All right. And how many candidates are there this year? We actually have six candidates for mayor. Um, they are uh, Ernest Stone, Samantha Tix, Dan Bender, Elizabeth Cosina, Christopher Nelson, and John Sation. Yes. Thanks. I'm Alicia Grave, communication intern with the City of Red Wing, and this is Lisa Ocker, Deputy Clerk from City Hall, and this is Pride in Public Service. Thanks for watching.